The first chord of this piece is an E7. With your ring finger, get the 7th fret of the A string. With your middle finger, get the 6th fret of the D string. With your pinky, get the 7th fret of the G string. And with your index finger, get the 5th fret of the B string. You can also play this voicing on the lower four strings with the fifth doubled, like this. With your middle finger on the seventh fret, low E string. Your ring finger, seventh fret of the A string. Your index finger, sixth fret of the D string and your pinky on 7th fret of the G string. The next chord is an A7. Your index finger is on the E string, 5th fret. Your uh, index finger is also muting the A string, which you skip. Your middle finger gets the 5th fret of the D string. Pinky gets the 6th fret of the G string. And your ring finger gets the 5th fret of the B string. Here's another voicing for the same chord. Middle finger gets the 5th fret of the low E string. Index finger gets 4th fret of the A string. Ring finger gets 5th fret of the D string. And then your pinky is on 6th fret of the G string. The next chord is a D7. This voicing is just like your E7 voicing, just down two frets. Ring finger is on fifth fret of the A string. Middle finger is fourth fret of the D string. Your pinky is on fifth fret of the G string. Your index finger is on third fret of the B string. This one also has the alternate voicing just like the E7. Two frets down. This one. But for a D7, it would be middle finger on the fifth fret of the low E. Ring finger on the fifth fret of the A. Index finger on the fourth fret of the D. And your pinky on the fifth fret of the G. So the next chord is a G major, or you can also play a G6. Let's first go over the G major. The one I like to play is a lot like a G major bar chord. Except for I play it with my thumb. It gives me a little more control when I'm playing rhythm. So your thumb gets the third fret on the low E string. Your ring finger is on the fifth fret of the A string. Your pinky is on the 5th fret of the D string. Your middle finger is on the 4th fret of the G string. And your index finger is on the 3rd fret of the B string. That's your G major. Now if you want a G6, G major 6, leave your thumb where it is, 3rd fret of the low E. With your middle finger, get the 5th fret of the A string. With your ring finger, get the 5th fret of the D string. With your index finger, get the 4th fret of the G string. And with your pinky, get the 5th fret of the B string. The next chord is B7. This is going to be a lot like your A7 voicing, 
Just two frets up. Index finger gets seventh fret of the E string. We skip the A, but it's muted by our index finger. Middle finger gets the seventh fret of the D string. Pinky gets eighth fret of the G string. And the ring finger gets fifth fret of the B string. Another voice thing for this is just like the A7, just two frets up. Middle fingers on the seventh fret of the low E. Index finger is on the sixth fret of the A. Ring finger is on the seventh fret of the D. And the pinky is on the eighth fret of the G. So the next chord is an E7, coming back to the top of the form. Um, you can use either of the two voicings that I showed you for the beginning. Same with the A7 that comes right after that. You can use either of those two voicings. Now after the A7, there's an E minor. The shape I play is a very familiar guitar minor chord shape. With your index finger, bar the seventh fret starting from the A string. So seventh fret A string, you bar all those strings. Now with your ring finger, get the ninth fret of the D string. With your pinky, get the ninth fret of the G. And with your middle finger, get the eighth fret of the B. You might be wondering why I told you to bar if all these notes are fretted. It's really just to get the B on the top. It's not even that necessary. So if you wanted, you don't even have to bar. You can just fret the, the what was it, seventh fret here on the A string without a bar. But if you really want to do a bar, you can either do that regular bar to get the top, or you can do a, a bigger bar to get the fifth on the low E string as well if you want. The chord after that is a B7, and you can use either of the voicings that we used for the end of, of the first form or the first time a B7 came in this tune. Um, but to go over that again, index finger, seventh fret of the low E, middle finger, well the A is muted, you know, with your index finger. Then your middle finger goes on the seventh fret of the D. Pinky is on the eighth fret of the G. And your ring finger is on the seventh fret of the B. You can also use that alternate voicing, which is middle fingers, seventh fret of the low E. Index finger, sixth fret of the A. Ring finger, 7th fret of the D. And your pinky on the 8th fret of the G. After that is another E minor. Just use the same voicing. B7, either of the two voicings again. Now there's a mini walk down. You'll see from G sharp, F sharp, F7, and E7. I call it a walk down because of the very close bass movement. Um, the first chord, G7, I'm gonna give you two voicing options for this. I suggest you stick with one for all four of the chords though, depending on which one you choose first. It'll just make it easier for you to play and it'll make it sound smoother. So our first option is just like our beginning E7 chord. Just up three frets. Your ring finger is on 10th fret of the A string. Your middle finger is on 9th fret of the D. Your pinky is on 10th fret of the G. And then your index is on 8th fret 
of the B string. That's your G7. If you're going to do the walk down with just that shape, it would just be G7, F sharp 7, F7, E7. There's also another voicing just like the alternate voicing for the E7, just up three frets. So your middle finger is on 10th fret of the low E. Your ring finger is on 10th fret of the A. Index finger is on 9th fret of the D. And your pinky is on 10th fret of the G. If you were going to do it just with that shape, it would be G. Half step down for F sharp 7. Half step down for F7, or one fret down. And then another fret down for E7. Okay, the chord after that is an A minor 7. With your middle finger, get 5th fret of the low E. We're skipping the A again, and it's muted by that middle finger just resting. And then with your ring finger, bar the D, G, and B at the 5th fret. All together. Whenever I see an A minor chord, and it's a 2-5, which is just in this key is A minor to D7 to G major. I'm okay, I also um, would use an A minor chord as well. Um, it's okay not to include the seventh is what I'm trying to say. And that voicing is a lot like a bar chord. Bar chord A minor, except for I just play the lower strings and once again I'm using my thumb to give me a bit more uh, control when I'm playing rhythm. So on the fifth fret, with your thumb on the low E, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A, pinky on the seventh fret of the D, index finger on the fifth fret of the G. That's an alternate option for the A minor 7. The next chord is a D7, exactly how we saw it before. With the, you can also use the alternate voicing that uh, doubles the fifth in the bass. And then the very last chord, G major, exactly how we saw it before as well. You can also end with the G6 as well. And if you want one measure or four beats before the tune repeats itself, you can throw in that B7 as well, either of the voicings we went over. <laughs> 